Welcome to MLB The Show 23. You guys are here for one reason and one reason only, and that's to learn how to hit. I promise you, if you guys watch this whole video and do the tips that I'm about to share with you, it will help you guys not only get better, but make World Series. Now, the screen we are on to start this video off is the settings video. About, I would say about 75, 80% of you guys are probably using the wrong settings to hit. So let's go over that right away. The button, inter the base running interface does not matter. The swing input, use buttons. You don't want to use analog, anal anything like that. Just use buttons. What that means is you basically just press X to hit, right? We'll go deeper into that, but what that means, you just press X to hit. For the interface, zone. Now, this is where you kind of go deeper into getting better at hitting. You have a couple of different options. You have directional, you have timing, and you have zone. What zone is, is using the PCI to your advantage. You move it around and you press X when you get to the ball and you hit the ball. Um, directional is literally just pressing X. And if you use directional, you're not gonna get the most out of any hitter in this game, right? You can have Stanton and you can press X with perfect timing, but you're not gonna get all of Stanton's power with directional. It's basically RNG based. And that's not what you want. You wanna put your skill to the test. And if you take a good swing, get rewarded by hitting a moonshot. So you gotta use zone. If you're gonna play this game at any type of competitive level, zone's the move. That's the only option. <laughs> Down to the PCI anchor. What the PCI anchor is, is basically, if you have trouble hitting up and in pitches, and I can kind of show you when I go into the practice area of what this means kind of deeper again, but basically you have, you can put your, your PCI in a bunch of different spots in the zone. If you have trouble hitting up and in pitches, you can kind of keep it there so you don't got to move it yourself and kind of, instead of having your PCI just sit right in the middle of the zone, it'll sit up and in and you kind of already have an advantage of hitting that pitch. Next, we got the PCI, the plate coverage indicator. You're gonna have to put this on. Again, this is something that has to be on. If you wanna be good at the game, if you wanna play at the best of your ability and the highest level in MLB The Show, you have to keep the PCI on. For the PCI center, this is just a different, this is basically all personal preference. I'm using the bat this year. It's a new PCI, it looks just like a bat. I was very, very comfortable with it in the tech test, so I'm just gonna use the bat. Again, these, all, all, all of these options are just personal preference. If you guys wanna kinda go to practice mode, play around with it, that's up to you. But this is what I use. Again, you can copy it, you can pause the video and use exactly what I use. But last year I used diamonds and wedge, and that's a very, very comfortable PCI, but I just kinda prefer the bat this year. No PCI inner for me, no PCI outer for me either. I like to use white. I just feel like it doesn't really get in my like in my way too much if it's white. And I like 80%. Turn the PCI fade out off. Guess pitch off a vibration. Always keep vibration off, by the way. For hitting, for pitching, for everything, vibration is the worst. But that's my settings. Again, you can pause this video. If you guys have any questions about my settings as well, you can just go in the comment section. I'll answer all of your comments. Also, when this video comes out, I will be live streaming over on twitch.tv forward slash Samuel underscore Adams, where me or my chat will answer any hitting questions, any MLB The Show questions that you guys have asked or you need the, that you want to know. So just go over there, show some love, and I got you guys. But let's go right over to the practice mode now and so you kind of go deeper into hitting. So now we're going to jump over in practice mode. And they all they keep doing is updating practice mode. And right now it is so fun to use. So first off, we're going to go hit. So we're going to change it to batting type. Now we're gonna change our hitter. Obviously, we gotta new, use the new legend in Derek Jeter for pitchers. Tom Seaver's fine. Now, two years ago, you didn't have any of these options that you're looking at right now, none of them. Then last year, they added to where you can kind of pick this part in the zone where you want the person to pitch. And now you can pick not only the location of the pitch, not only where you want it, but also the pitch frequency of each pitch. So say you're having an issue with a sinker. Let's just use a sinker only. Maybe you can even add a slider so you can see both those pitches. You're having a, a really hard time of hitting the inside sinker and the outside slider. So basically that is the only pitches you're gonna see now. So you can just jump right in. This is the bat PCI right now. And I know for sure all I'm gonna get pitches here or here. Nice swing at him. 
But yeah, so ba th this is what you can do. If you're having trouble with a certain pitch, just go into practice mode over and over again. And you can just see that pitch. Jeter swing kind of feels really good, by the way. This is the first time I'm using Derek Jeter. I was kind of worried about that little leg kick, but it looks pretty good to me. So yeah, again, if you have any issues at all with any type of pitch, you just go here. You find the pitcher that has it. I like to use all the legend teams. There's three legend teams. You can just kind of recycle them in and out. I mean, if you're having trouble against very fast fastballs, outlier type fastballs, you can use Nolan Ryan. Just put it the four seam. Kind of give yourself any type of high fastball. Go into practice mode and just continue to practice. I'm telling you guys, people do not use this enough. This is an easy way to get better. I'm not going to be a routine grounder and I swing at him. A thing that I tell people every single year, if you guys are having trouble on All-Star, stick with All-Star difficulty, okay? So go to options, and you're gonna go to All-Star here. So now, we're on All-Star difficulty, okay? What I want you to do is, if you did this for 10 to 15 minutes a day, I promise you, I promise you, promise you, promise you, you will become a better hitter. All you gotta do, forget the swing, okay? Just watch the ball, okay? You know you're gonna get a fastball here, but watch the ball and just bring your PCI to the baseball over and over and over again. Let me just change um, the pitching first so we can kind of get any pitch we want. Turn this off. Okay, let's press start. All right, so now I can get any pitch in any spot. What I wanna do is this is all about recognizing and tracking pitches, okay? So I'm gonna go, obviously it's a ball. We're just gonna track every single pitch in every spot of the location without even swinging. And this is going to help you really just recognize what pitch is coming, when it's coming. And so many people have trouble with this. Now, another question I get asked a lot is, Adam, what am I looking at when the pitch is coming in? It's all hand-based, right? I'm not going to look at its chest when its hand's right here, right? This is where the ball's coming from. You're going to have to look at the hand. The way to pick it up, or the best way to pick it up, is just practice. I mean, there's no... I don't, I, my eyesight is not much better than your eyesight. I promise you that. Like, I got to wear contacts. They're not great. It's just all practice based. I faced Nolan Ryan a million times in this video game. A million times. So I kind of know how he's going to, or I kind of know, like, how every pitch is going to come out of his hands. If you see something looping right away, it's going to be a curveball. You can kind of react to his changeup. And then a sinker fastball, you're always going to be sitting on something hard from Nolan Ryan because the man throws outlier, right? So it's kind of all practice based, but again, I look at the hand and this is the way you, you track pitches. You see the pitch, you don't worry about tapping X because then you're trying to do too many things at once. You just go, my PCI was right there. If I press X, that ball was gonna be crushed. So this is all you gotta do. Now, if this is too easy for you and you say, you know what? I sucked an all-star at the beginning of the year. I've been doing this for a week now. Now I can hit on Hall of Fame. Okay, well, let's bring it to Hall of Fame and let's just keep doing this. And you're gonna get more and more used to recognizing the pitches from each pitcher. And then you're gonna go online and you're gonna absolutely shell. That's just kind of the way it is. So this is kind of just something I did at the start of my MLB The Show career when I started streaming. I did this 10, 15 minutes. I did it for about a month and then I kind of stopped. It is kind of, tough to do every day obviously but if you have time and you want to get better at the game this is something that will help you get better i promise you and then again when you're used to tracking the pitches you feel confident that you can hit go and hit the baseball you know it's just kind of the way it is so i brought this up when i was talking about the settings but that's the pci anchor so we're going to turn that on right now we're going to go to apply the changes as you see this is the pci anchor again if i'm having trouble up and in i can put it up and in and now my hands are not on the controller and it's sitting up and in maybe you have trouble with the low and away pitch you have that shit low and away and you just wait for the pitch right and you can keep it there and if you want to maybe move it here and you can go and you can move it there that was another great swing by me but yeah, so that's what the PCI Anchor is about. This is all about where you feel comfortable and you don't gotta keep your hands on the controller and just keep it there. So if you're having, you're getting beat by that up and in pitch and you don't wanna bring it yourself, you kinda just let go and it's gonna go up and in by itself. I think it's a great tool to use. It's something I really did not use at all last year and I kinda wanna use more this year um, because I kinda always keep my controller up and in. I kinda just guide it around like this. Like it's kinda my my timing mechanism, Nolan Ryan cannot throw a strike, but it's kind of like my timing mechanism. And again, it's a small little thing that they added that not a lot of people 
really take advantage of. If you're getting beat by a certain pitch, why not keep your PCI in that exact spot and be ready for that pitch? Finally, the last thing I want to talk about, the most overlooked thing for anybody in this game is situational hitting. You need to put yourself at an advantage of hitting, right? If you're in a 2-0 count, you're way better than you're gonna hit way better than if you're in an 0-2 count, right? So you wanna find yourself in good spots for hitting. So something that you can do and something that not a lot of people are doing online, right? If you're at the lower levels and say you're all-star and below, 85% of the guys that pitch pitch the exact same way, right? If they're 0-2, they're gonna throw an off-speed pitch. If they're 2-0, they're gonna throw a fastball or a sinker or a cutter, something hard, right? So you kind of just sit on that pitch and when you see it's coming in harder than a slider or a changeup, you can kind of be ready for it and you can hit a moonshot. So you kind of want to read your opponent and the way to do that is if you're not the best hitter, you can for the first three innings not swing at a pitch until there's two strikes and then kind of just go from there and see what he tries to set up, right? Maybe in an 0-0 count, he's going fastball, slider, changeup and you're like, okay, in an 0-2 count, I'm going to look for that changeup. You get the changeup and you smash it to the moon. It's kind of just the way it is, and I'm telling you, 85% of these pitchers pitch the exact same. Now, you can also practice situational hitting. So we're gonna set it up. We got a 2-1 count, we got one out, we have a guy on third base, and we have Derek Jeter up. We need to score this runner. We have to have a quality AB. We're looking for a pitch that we can handle up in the zone, and if we get that pitch, we just cannot miss that pitch. Well, that's obviously a ball, so we're not gonna swing at that. So now we have a 3-1 count. We're just looking for any type of pitch that we can handle and get the runner in. That's all we want to do here. So we're looking up in the zone. That was just a hanger. I mean, I know it's a good pitch, but I saw that pitch all the way. I was able to handle it and I was able to do my job. So that's basically what you need to do for situational hitting. You got to be comfortable. You got to see the pitch, read the pitch, but you're really just looking for something that you can drive to the outfield and take advantage of. There's actually one more thing I want to talk about, and that's dropping the PCI. It's something that 95% of hitters in this game have issues with. Even I have issues with dropping my PCI. I drop it all the time. It's just I probably drop it less than the casual player. So this is kind of what I do again. It's kind of all just repetitions, but I also I have, I have it set to where every pitch is low, as you see in the bottom left right here. Every pitch is low. So we're just looking at the bottom of the zone. The key to not dropping your PCI is all about not smashing your PCI down like this, okay? You don't want to smack it down like that. Also, so before before I continue, this is a control freak. This will help you hit a lot. I almost forgot to talk about this. This is a control freak will help you hit a lot. You can just go to controlfreak.com and find yourself. Again, this is all personal preference. What this does, it kind of just helps you guide your PCI through the zone. I feel like a lot of you guys do not know about this, but again, controlfreaks.com. You can go get yourself over there. I do not have a code, um, sadly, but this will help you hit a lot. I promise you. It kind of just helps with like the precise movements of your PCI. So if you guys are having trouble with dropping your PCI, you're having trouble kind of hitting like middle, middle pitches or like the pitches that are like right in these areas instead of like all the way down where you do drop in and hit it. You kind of get it yourself a control freak and for basically that exact pitch you can kind of help yourself get caught up to it easier with a control freak now what i do to drop my pci again it's the same thing as i talked about earlier in the video where it's all about tracking and getting used to the movement of the pci so i just want to bring it down nice and smooth i don't want to jam it i don't want to jam my pci all the way down there you can in a situation to where you see it's on the corners and you're like super late, you're playing on legend, that's when you jam it and you kind of just help yourself and you get lucky. You won't always hit it, but you can connect with it and hit a home run on it. You really want to get yourself used to just kind of gradually moving your PCI down. See, I dropped there. I dropped it all the way down below the zone, but you just kind of want to move it casually through the zone. And again, this goes back to recognizing pitches, right? It goes back to seeing, okay, this is low in the zone. I can't jam my PCI down here. If I just smack it, it's going all the way below the zone and I'm gonna get under it. You just gotta be smooth with it, get to the ball and you will hit it. Cause those low pitches are so easy to hit once you stop dropping the PCI, but it's all reps, all repetitions. And the more you 
do this type of practice, the better you will get at not dropping your PCI. Well, that's gonna be the end of this video. Please, do you guys have any questions at all, leave a comment under the video, I will get back to you, or you can go to my Twitch over at twitch.tv forward slash Samuel underscore Adams. I will be live streaming every single day for probably the next three months. I mean, we will be grinding this game out. I'm going no money spent this year, which I have not done in three years since I started making content. So we're gonna really be grinding this game out, making a bunch of no money spent content. So we're gonna be live streaming all the time. So make sure you guys go over to the stream, hang out with us, and you guys ask me any questions, I will be more than happy to answer those questions. I'm just it's sad. There's no easy way to hit. I'm telling you, it's all practice, it's all reps. If you put in the work, you will become a better hitter. But again, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. And as always, I would appreciate it if you guys can turn on that notification bell so you can notify when every video is live.